This video I made on how to remove the oil pan on a 190E with an M102 engine. Um, I mostly followed the service manual. So I started with taking off the uh, exhaust manifold or the exhaust pipe holder right here. I broke the bolts off. That was kind of tricky to get out. These are just like the bolt was broken off. Then I did the uh, manifold to exhaust pipe bolts. Uh, surprisingly, none of these broke off, but uh, they were hit pretty hard with the liquid wrench. Um, this is all sped up 20 times faster. The fourth one's a little weird. I had to go between the two exhaust pipes, but then it was actually kind of a straight shot with an extension. Then I took off the front spray bar. The manual, I think, might say to take the the arms off of the chassis legs instead of right at the sway bar, but I took off the sway bar. So it was kind of, um, everything's still sort of under tension, so it's kind of tricky to pull the sway bar out. So I'm going to struggle with it for a few minutes, which is a few seconds when it's sped up 20 times. To get it back in, I had to kind of get it started and then put a jack under it to push it into place because it's tricky just for bare hands. Next I did the motor mounts to the cross bumper. And then did the oil pressure sensor. Then I started undoing the transmission to the oil pan bolts. jacking it up. I realized that uh, it jacks up more level if you jack it in that corner. And then I realized that the fan is binding up on the fan shroud, so you have to undo that. And then I try to put some blocks of wood between the cross member and the motor mounts, but they're not big enough. I'll find out later. At this point it's mostly just undoing oil pan bolts. Some of them are a little tricky to get to because you have to kind of work around the um, drag link between the for the steering and then the cross member. It might be a little easier if I had known that I should be jacking it up higher. There'd be more room between them. There's this front bracket you have to take off with this uh, shock absorber for the harmonic damper or whatever that is. gonna cut all this out but I figure I just leave all the footage in. A few of these bolts have the Allen head on them, these pan bolts. And they have like a bracket of some kind. I'm not sure if there were wires routed through here, but mine have nothing. If anybody knows in the comments what this was for. Um, you let me know. I, I think I didn't even put these back on. I just put regular hex head bolts because I hate these Allen head bolts. Bolts aren't torqued on very tight, but there was a lot of dirt around them on mine, so it was tricky to get a good seating and not start rounding them off. Once I got all the bolts out, though, the pan just completely separated from the bottom of the block.
lighting isn't the best. I just had a shop light on the ground and then a headlight. So I'm going to drop the pan and then I'm going to struggle for quite a while to get this thing out and then realize that it's not going to go. Um, because the back end of it and then the oil pickups in the front. So there's just not room to, to make it happen. So I put some of the bolts back in and I jack it up pretty much until the point where it's almost picking the car up because it's bottoming out on the transmission tunnel. And then I jam as much wood as I can between the motor mounts and the cross member. Uh, I use um, Home Depot paint stirring sticks because they're thin and flat. You can cut them up, they're free. And I got it pretty close to as high as I could. It compresses a little under the motor mounts. My motor mounts are new, so they're a little more elastic than collapsed ones. Remember to drain the oil. I drain the oil, but there's still some oil getting all over the place. So, this is what it is. There's some baffles in the pan. There's still not a lot of room, so you have to kind of work around the baffles because they knock into the oil pickup. You kind of have to shimmy it sideways to get around. And then putting it on is the same, you know, the same thing where you have to kind of barely put it in sideways and rotate it, at least I had to. surprised I got this out so it's fairly excited that this actually worked. The manual says you have to use an engine crane to lift it up. There's the blocks of wood in the back for reference. Now you can see the uh, exhaust manifold to exhaust pipe, the gap. about all there is to it. Hope this helps.